It is evident from the fossil record that fundamental body plans do not undergo major evolutionary change. Are there natural processes which prevent major evolutionary change? Yes, one of them is called natural selection. You see, in fact, um, natural selection is what prevents a gradual step-by-step -step change from occurring. It's a conservative force that promotes the stasis that you uh, actually see in, in, in the fossil record and in the evidence. And, and the reason for that is that um, if you try to change one kind of thing into something basically different, uh, by tiny step by tiny step, you're going through intermediate space uh, where the thing isn't viable. Uh, you can imagine this uh, in the sense of, su suppose uh, that you got a set of mutations which in themselves might be capable of turning a, a mouse into a whale. That's essentially what is deemed to have happened according to the Darwinian theory. Not literally, because it's not literally a mouse, but um, something like that, a tiny four-legged creature, must have changed step by tiny step into a whale. But if you imagine that starting to happen, it's counterfactual because you have to imagine the mutations coming and there's no evidence that they exist. You can see that somewhere there is it start, the mouse started to develop flippers and a, a big tail and a gear for breathing underwater. It had become awfully unsatisfactory as a mouse and helpless and it would get uh, eaten or would be unable to survive. So natural selection would weed it out. Now that's simply a gross example of something that's uh, true in more subtle ways. Um, uh, mutations result in creatures that are not viable and natural selection stops them and so it keeps the species uh, roughly as it is with variations uh, around that stable center.